Hola! Welcome to the Talking Nerdy Vlogcast with your host, Pablo Gunner. Uh, this week I am here to talk nerdy to you about the PS4 video game, The Order 1886. Alright, so here's the deal with The Order 1886. The screen is very clear, it's very clean, it's very cinematic. So it looks amazing, like hair flowing, locks of hair flowing. You know the breeze going through it uh, you know it's it's very cinematic in fact there were points in the game where I forgot that I was actually playing a game and I was just watching waiting for something to happen or like there'd be things happening and and then I'd be like oh crap I'm controlling this oh hey I better uh, move my character so there was moments like that so it was really really cinematic mind-blowingly cinematic seamless I would say it, it was it was freaking amazing but the problem is is like well there's a lot of problems you know it, it is a fun game there is some awesome boss fights the boss fights are epic uh, the boss fights are epic because you fight werewolves uh, which go into the story uh, that's that's a whole mess for and we'll talk about that in a minute. but they're epic and you fight these werewolves it's just these epic fights where you have a sword and there's quick time events QTs for the hardcores and so it, it that was that was that was something that was really great and they and they have one early on and then they have another one later on in the game I, I kind of feel like the first one was better so they kind of jumped the gun in that sense maybe because it was the first time I had experienced something like that so it was like wow it blew me away or maybe because it was actually more epic but anyways, nonetheless, so I, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the story uh, because I don't want to talk about nothing but bad. I want to talk about some of the good stuff towards the end so you, do, you don't have just a taste of the bad in the mouth when I actually give my full review. So you play this guy, and he has been betrayed by the order that he serves, and the order is... Come on, come on. The order 1886. That's the year is 1886, and it takes place over a few days, only like a few days. And it's really interesting, and it's really amazing. Like I said, you play this dude of this order, and the order is based off of the order of the Knights of the Round Table of King Arthur. So I guess you're assuming that King Arthur is real. I mean, is he real? Is, is that is that something that we've have we figured out whether or not King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table were real? I thought they were fiction. But anyways, uh, so are, is it real to British people or people from England? Anyways, point is, and you have like this water that you drink. Like when you get really, really hurt during the game, like in the gameplay, you can use it once. And you use it too, like in scenes where you get really hurt or other characters will get really hurt or, you know, damaged and they drink their little vial of water. It's in this necklace. And so I'm assuming it's holy water. I think they actually call it that at one point or something like that. Something similar to that. Uh, and so they heal once and that's it. And it heals them from almost anything. Because there, there's, there's, there's one point where this lady gets really messed up and she heals from it almost completely within like 10 minutes. Uh, it's crazy though because even like that same lady, you can tell that there's like some romantic sexual tension between you and the character that you play where she's like well maybe if you would just talk to my father then things then we could go and be together but you never will and you're like what are you talking about lady like there's no precedence for this like it's all this story that you have no you're just reading into it it's all assumption you know they never talk about it there's no exposition about it so it was, that was that whole story right there that you and with this your character and this woman you're like i i don't know what you're talking about like you, there is some where you have missions with her so you do become connected to her but not that well not enough to be like i'm romant romantically interested in you and involved with you uh which plays into the story later because like they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned that plays into that because she kind of ends up like betraying you because she thinks that you're betraying her and the order. Uh, which, okay, so like I said, there's werewolves and the knights, the order, 
They are there to protect the realm against these werewolves. But they call them half-breeds. Don't know why, but they call them half-breeds. I guess because they're half-human and they're half-wolves, I'm assuming. They don't really go into why they call them that. But, and so you're uncovering this conspiracy that your mentor has. He's like, something's going on here. And you think that your mentor is actually the one that's the conspirator, uh, which is even more messed up. But anyways, so you end up finding stuff out in a, in a really bad way during one of the missions. And so you think that these rebels are helping out the werewolves. And it's, it's, it's one of those points in the movie where, I mean, because it feels like a movie, in the game where it turns into a movie. You know, like in movies where the, it gets really fake and there's two people that have guns to each other and for whatever reason, they don't shoot each other. They talk. In real life, when you are in a setting where you have a gun and you're looking to shoot another person or kill another person that also has a gun, when you see them, you shoot them automatically. Especially if you know that they're armed and dangerous. Or if, especially if you go, hey, I have a gun. I see they have a gun. I'm going to shoot them before they shoot me. That's the way real life works. Uh, and so that doesn't happen. It turns into a movie scene where you, there's a rebel there and you don't, you just aim at the person and, or you don't even aim at them. They aim at you. And then you're just like, I got a gun. I just have to pull my, I just have to shoot you faster. I can do that. And so that's what it comes down to. And then this other rebel shows up and she's like, no, don't put your gun down lady. And uh, we'll talk this out. And you're like, fine, we'll talk it out. And there's right, there's ways that they could have wrote it in so that you didn't have a weapon because you go into a bar where you're not even allowed to have weapons. So you shouldn't have had a weapon on you in the first place. So that was, that was just bad writing right there. And like I said, that was a symptom of it being overly cinematic, I thought. And so that was part of the problem. Anyways, you end up working with this rebel because she's like, oh, there's this conspiracy. There's this thing going on. And you're like, why don't you tell me? And she's like, well, because I don't trust you and because I have to show you. And it, it's that's where it gets really stupid, too, because it's like if she would have told you right then and there, your character would have been like very understanding or somewhat understanding to be like, OK, yeah, let's go check this out together. I definitely sounds like something that could be happening that could be real. So you go check it out with her. Ends up being true. and But it involves vampires. So now there's this conspiracy about vampires. And I'm like, when did vampires come into play? I'm not, and they don't, they don't explain that. They don't explain it at all. In fact, throughout the game, the, the focus seems to be on werewolves instead of vampires. Like, they don't even bring up vampires. They just, oh, let's get rid of the world of werewolves. Anyways, there's this guy, and he ends up being, like, that's part of your order, um, and that ends up being the conspirator. And that was the part in the game where I said, I don't want to play this anymore. Now, it was the end of the game. It pissed me off. There's rage quit uh, worthy moments throughout the game that really, really pissed me off, where you face enemies, and they're not even bosses. They're just characters that are, like, well-armored, and they have special weapons. So they're not bosses, but they're really tough to the point where, like, it's really stupid. Like, you have to have a cer certain weapon to kill them, or you have to do... It just gets really ridiculous. So, but there, there's a way around. I was playing on easy. I'm going to be honest. I play most games on easy just because I want to get through them faster and just enjoy them because I don't have a lot of time. And so I just felt like this should not be this hard. I'm playing on easy. Not that I expect it to be a breeze all the way through, but it was just ridiculous. Like I said, rage quit worthy or almost rage quit worthy. The story was just like, the story, it just, like I said, that ending just pissed me off so much. Now, there are some really cool weapons in this game where they're really fun, they're really interesting, and the story is interesting. And they leave it at like kind of a cliffhanger, not a cliffhanger, but where they leave it open for either DLC or a whole another game, like a sequel. Now, I'd be willing to play another sequel, but I wouldn't want to play this game over again. It was a lot of fun, but I wouldn't want to play it over again. So, you know, all things considered, I'm going to have to give this a rent at best. All right, folks, tell me what you thought of the video. Tell me what you think of the game if you've played it. And also, if you want a free digital comic, remember to subscribe, like, and comment this video. 
and I'll give you one of these free digital comics. Civil War 2, oh, number 4. International Iron Man, number 5. Spider Gwen, <laughs> number 10. The Totally Awesome Hulk, number 9, Civil War 2 tie-in. Like I said, be a subscriber, like, and comment on this video, and I'll give you one of those free digital comics. Remember, you can find what? all things Talk Nerdy to me at TNTM the show. Close. And please, by all means, talk nerdy to me.